this is it. This is your story. It all begins here. Hey! My old man? Oh my god, that is terrifying. Oh, it sends chills up my spine. But we're alive. We live to die another day. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I will die in this playthrough. I'm hoping I won't. At least not till the very end boss. I might die there. Or, goddamn's. I had made it out of the frying pan other and into the freezer. Bosses later. I can't, I forgot. I can't say I anything. I was gonna die in this place. No, buddy. I'm gonna get you out of here. You're all right. All right. So we can fast forward some of this bits. Run up the stairs. I'm not gonna lie, this place looks really bad, but if you got a little fire going in here, I bet you it would be kind of cozy. Kind of nice and cozy. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a roaring hot fire up in here. Need... fire. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna save one more time here, then we're gonna speed it up again. That is the nice thing about emulation, is I don't have to make you watch all the running around and stuff that RPGs have. I got confused about which door I went in, but I do need to go in here. Examine this at the back here. I am trying, I am hitting the button to do what you tell me to do. Oh, that's because I'm a fucking moron and it's the drawer. I'm going to the back of the room. As soon as I saw the prompt. Well, the prompt, if the prompt pops up, the prompt should work anyway. Alright, and there's another room back here. Now, I believe if you go down, there's a little item tucked away down here. Some goodies. We'll need those later for sure. Examine here on the wall. And then we're gonna speed it up. So there's an item tucked away back here. And we wanna get it. Any healing item's a good healing item. Now, if you're coming through this new, you're gonna pick up some really good tips. Even if it's not a completionist playthrough, there's some stuff I'm gonna do that are really great to do for your first time through. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I know you're hungry, buddy. We're gonna speed this up because just a lot of animation. Oh, something was watching us from the shadows. At least we got fire. Fire will keep us warm. I need food. I'm actually kind of hungry too. What do, what do you, you want? want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. <laughs> I thought you'd be crying. Who, me? You cried. Uh-oh. Looks like our fire's starting to go out. Oh god. Hey! Wait, You're just noticing wait. now? Don't go out on me. Off daydreaming. When be in the situation, Titus. I'll get more wood. Oh no. It's like oozing stuff too. It's so gross. 
Yeah, it moves creepishly fast. It's like those centipedes and those spiders that move creepishly fast. Oh god, I'm getting myself chills again. Now, I've never tested it, so I will use healing items here. But that's alright. Kick his ass anyways. And we're gonna zoom through this to save some time. At least until like a certain part. There we go. I was so confused by this when I was younger because I didn't realize that all of the like leather on her body was leather. I thought that was skin, so I was like, this is a really inconvenient like battle costume. It's like, there's, I don't know, belt panties. There's two belts. There you go. Done. Gonna grenade it up. So now we're gonna keep attacking. We use a potion here. Now actually they want us to use our grenades here, but we're actually gonna try and steal some back. Oh, he seems to have been distracted to face the other direction. I'm gonna have to fix that, but that's okay. That's easy. In the next episode that'll be fixed. Or maybe not the next episode. I don't know how many episodes this one recording will do. Well, at some point in this playthrough, all of a sudden you'll realize it will be fixed. And then you can think back to this episode. You'll be thrilled. I'm sure you'll be so happy. You might write about it in your day diary. There we go. And now we have a bunch of grenades that we can use later. Yeah, imagine how confused I was. I was like, I'm just gonna toss butts in my face right away. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna personally complain too much, especially not when you're a young teenage male. You're not like, how dare they throw boobies and butts in my face? It's kind of like your whole deal at that age. <laughs> Now this is cool through some sequent playthroughs. Damn it! So throughout this game, we're going to decipher that language, and it'll save it to a separate save so that as you play through the game multiple times, you can continue to decipher the language, which is really, really cool. I always thought that was really, really cool anyways. Either way, we should just be glad to be out of those ruins. They were the most cheery place to be. Stuff like this, I'm going to speed through. Just these animations of like nothing going on. Hey, that hurts. Sujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, chill, bro. Getting up in my face with a gun. Kindness. Or we've got like this ex-punk rocker. I never liked this guy. I always tried to like him. Tuli hot kebeg. I said I don't understand. That's a sharp Dad. point. He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You, you understand me? All right, I'll work. A little love tap. Shake it off, princess. Now you're gonna talk to that chick. She's gonna write 
through a tutorial, which I'm going to speed through because I have done it half a million times and you will see me do it more than that during this playthrough. But you want to make sure you to come over here and grab this book. This is going to be your first start in deciphering the language. And you will gain different ranks through how far you've deciphered it. Oh. She almost forgot to just run the sphere grid, which is, in my opinion, the best leveling system that has ever been used in an RPG. It allows for so much freedom. Like, there's literally nothing not to love about it. Any character can be a mage in this game. Any character can be a warrior. And you can be all at the exact same time if you want to. I've seen people who have taken all the characters around the whole entire board, and that blows my mind. just so much it's just so much and I love that I can fast forward through it that would be like an episode right there so we're gonna go and we're gonna go recover a ship that has apparently been found a down ship that has been found at the bottom of the ocean at this point I guess we are gonna see if we can repair it and we're gonna speed this up as well There will be some fights here. You can sit here and farm some of them if you really want to, but there's no real need to do so. Unless you want to bulk up on spheres early. That's really the only reason why you would. So I see we got a little save point here. We'll save. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this goddamn thing until it decides it, wants, it does what I want it to do. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna beat the crap out of these things, that's what we're gonna do. So regular attacks will work here. If you're lucky, then Titus will overkill one of these things, and you'll get a little bit more experience. Nope. Not this time. It's okay, we'll speed through all that. I don't care what orbs I'm gonna get. Now we need to go over to her and beat on this thing. We're just beating on things, really. That's how fixing things in this game works. Just hit them a lot, which is freakishly similar to my real life way of fixing things. We have just been ambushed by Cthulhu's little brother. No, it's just a, some squid beast. We're gonna kill it. Now you can feel free to use your grenades all you want here, but I usually start off by trying to steal one. All right, so we got it. And now we can just unload on this thing. Yeah, we made him a little mad. So now they're teaching us about trigger commands. So we're going to use one now. Stand by. It's a really stupid one. I wish they wouldn't have did that. So we're going to skip through this till they give us pincer attack. I guess this part I won't going to skip through. Oh, tentacles. Here we go. I'm going to start using grenades here now, so we should get the option for a pincer attack. Is there going to be standby again once more? Pincer attack, there we go. We're going to unload with grenades now. This guy's going down. Bring it! Can you feel the pain? I hope so. Because the pain is real. Okay, so she gets another turn after he does. So sort of try to steal something. She'll be alright, and I can revive her if she dies, but I don't think she will. He seems to have a real hard on for me right now, so. Bam, I just killed you with a punch. How's that make you feel? Ugh, I love that transition sound. That sounds great. But I don't care, I love it. For some reason, Final Fantasy X really, really got to me. 
And I think it might be one of where the demo ended, if I remember correctly. But still, by that point, 